this is Hogan's track. That is um, three and a half plus hours old. A little bit older than I wanted it to be for him as he's been pushing around the three hour um, limit for aging. And it's very dry and windy out there. Um, the wind is coming across the track left to right. And over here on the right side of the track, there are tall grasses. I'll change a cover. Eventually, he takes him a turn. He is going along and follows the track pretty well, except when he comes to um, areas where I've left the targets and the treats. In those instances, he seems to be um, pulled over to the so to the right side to the edge with these grasses. He self-corrects himself back to the track and usually finds a treat in those times. So it occurs where it looks like the wind has done something um, with the extra smell, perhaps, of the foods, which I didn't think were particularly smelly um, foods, rather dry, since they have to uh, sit there on this aging track for the ants to find, and they don't like these. Here again, he's drifting over the wind-blown area, goes that way, quickly picks himself back. I'm not checking him with the line anyway. I actually have a pretty light line, so I wanted to see what um, he was doing here, and uh, he wasn't going so terribly off. And again, checking that side, quick check. There's the tall grasses right there. Back. Eats his food. Now we're coming to a turn. And, uh, of course, I've got, I do have um, targets through this turn because we're working on his turn behavior. And um, the wind seems to play some havoc with this turn here, too. He does the same uh, checking, finding back. So I think he's a little bit early on the turn here. It seemed to me like perhaps he smelled this leg. He's taken that direction, but he's a little bit um, shy of the track, which is over here, a little bit short of it.